Hello my fellow adventurers, this is Galator from Galator's Gaming, giving you another episode of, and the, well, the, uh, the final episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Adventure. Now, this is going to be the final episode of my playthrough, I guess. It's going to be in my playthrough. I am going to be uploading content, just not actual episodes since this is the end of the story, basically. So let's face Lori. Should I be concerned that she's looking at me in such a st a look, giving me that look? I mean, she's using Ice type Pokemon, and Pikachu. Well, Nora, she can eviscerate this. A lot of these Pokemon. Especially if I use Zippity Zap. Yeah, like that. It's me the fact that pretty much all of her Pokemon are Ice type, and pretty much all of the I pretty much most of the Ice types have the water typing, and I do know, and I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure psychic types or ice types are also, are also weak to electric. Yeah, you're not getting me with that shit. Lovely kiss. It's a move that provides. It's basically that move is basically what it does. It gives you confusion, and I hate it. Cloister, also a uh, water ice type. Uh, Nora, use zippy zap. Oh. You know, lady, I just realized you gotta be freaking cold, the fact you're not wearing any, well, long pants. You're basically just wearing a coat and shoes. There's a freaking bug in my room. Or in my, in the basement. What the hell? Lapras! I think Lapras is more tanky, actually. Wow. Nora has dodge dodges for days. Slow blow. I'm surprised that Psychic didn't do that much damage. <laughs> Alright, so I took down Lori. After Lori, I think, is Bruno? Things shouldn't be this way.
Yeah, I figured as much. It was Bruno. Actually, I wonder, can I teach my Pidgeot, or Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeot, um... I can't teach him Brick Break. Why? I don't have Steel Wing. Hmm. Okay, so if I recall, Bruno uses fine type Pokemon, but he also has access to Pokemon such as... He also has access to Pokemon such as Onyx, so I should not underestimate him. Why did you sit down? <clears throat> yeah, I figured you were gonna send out your Onyx first. Yeah, that's why I have a little friend who wants to beat you. I mean, I guess that that makes sense that I wouldn't be able to do that much damage to, uh, or remotely as much damage in comparison to other Pokemon since Onyx uh, has a really high defense stat. Physical defense, not special. So next he's gonna send out Hitmonchan, I believe, and after that I think is Primeape. And then Machoke, he's either Machoke or Machamp. You know, I actually wonder if the next Pokemon game that they release is going to be, like, Pokemon Let's Go Johto or something. Oh no, it's a Poliwrath! Okay, it wasn't Primeape.
All right, so the next person I think I'm facing is, yeah, it's it's Agatha. Oh boy. Uh. Hmm. All right, so you know, flamethrower, dig, heat wave, crunch, bee drill, nose, brick break, x scissor, poison jab. Uh. Yeah, I may s well start with Arcanine. Actually, I probably should save. Actually, I'm pretty sure Agatha will start with Golbat. Okay. Okay, creepy old lady. Oh no, apparently it's Arbok. Wait, she had an Arbok in Pokemon Leaf Green. What? the blazes am I thinking of? Oh well, no difference. Still use dig. Oh wow. It actually did less damage than I thought. You better not poison me! Son of a- Good job, Pikachu. I mean, Nora. Nora, payday! Give us some extra cash, Granny! Let me guess, the next Pokemon I have to face is... Yeah, I, I figured as much. Okay. Changing Pokemon. Going for Arcanine, seeing as his Crunch can most likely one-shot Gengar. Unless she Mega Evolves him. Then I probably can't. Here. Oh, hey, well, well, would you look at that? Gengar is not so Gengar ish now, Weezing. I'm not sure if it's apparent to any of you, but I really don't like wheezing. It's unnecessarily tanky, and it's also really annoying to deal with because he can poison me. I hate dealing with poison. Let's go for another dig! Actually, why am I bothering still using Dig? Can I can can't I teach uh, Arcanine Earthquake? I mean, that would certainly be better than Dig. Another Gengar. You have two Gengar. Holy boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. Goodbye, Agatha. You only have one Pokemon left. What is it? Yeah, I, I figured it was gonna be. I figured it was gonna be Golbat. Okay. Time to use Zippy Zap. Vega? 
You know, I'm actually making pretty good time on all this. And you know, you gotta keep in mind, even if I didn't perfectly max up, uh, max out all of my, uh, two of my Pokemon stats, or two of my Pokemon stats, I've been playing Pokemon since 1999. So I'm pretty good when it comes to knowing how to battle. I got that, uh, precious, precious field experience, bro. And after Agatha, let me guess, Lance? I have to face Lance? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, hmm. Hmm. Lance uses Dragon-type Pokemon, and I don't really think I have many Pokemon that would be good against him. Eh. So it sounds like... <clears> hmm. <throat> Well, actually, I'm pretty sure pretty much all Dragon-type Pokemon... Like, the only Dragon-type Pokemon that's not weak to my Pikachu would have to be... A dr his Dragonair. Because he still has... Oh. Yes, I am. Mm, for their... They're virtually indestructible? Uh, not really. You're a couple of electrical zaps. A couple good zaps would say otherwise. You know, seeing as your Dragonite is a dual typing of Dragon and Flying. Or a good old Ice Beam. Yeah, this is... He yeah, has Pokemon that are... Have aspects of Dragon types, but are not Dragon types. Like, he has a Charizard, I don't know that much, but it's not a dragon type. He's still gonna take. A lot of his Pokemon are still gonna take quite a bit of damage from all of this. I mean, Nora is certainly gonna have a field day with those Pokemon because either the, the Pokemon he has are either fl have flying types in them or water types with them. And that's a lot of. And just that one weakness is gonna really mess up these guys' day. Oh, hey, Aerodactyl. <laughs> Bye, Aerodactyl. Hi, Aerodactyl. Bye, Aerodactyl. Bloody hell! Gyarados, oh god, Gyarados, you're... Oh no, four times weakness! Flying and water type. Nora, this just feels- I- this just feels like bullying. <laughs> Does it matter? It doesn't matter how tanky you are, critical- Using a move that's a guaranteed critical on a Pokemon that has four times weakness. <laughs> oh no! Charizard. Um, and I believe the next, and I know for the fact the next Pokemon after that is Dragonite. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, you know the funny thing is. I checked the stats for Pikachu, the partner Pikachu, not the just normal Pikachu. Uh, it has a lot more speed. It has a lot more speed than most Pokemon. That's a nice Dragonite you have there. It's a real shame I have to do this. I'm not sorry. Oh! You resisted it!
Okay then. Looks like someone has grown some kahunas. All right. Nora, right, come back. Let's send out our good old pal B Drill. Outrage. Uh. Let's try poison jab. If we can't, even if we can't take him down with this, at the very least we could poison him. Uh, poison him with it. Even though I don't really see the point, really having to worry about. Him doing overwhelming amount of damage since the B drill stats. Hit stats, man. Hit stats. Yeah, speaking of that, Rant Lance, you said that it's only fair that someone who beat Team Rocket should be the one to do it. Uh, speaking of which, how did you guys not notice or realize that Team Rocket was, well, that much of a threat? Or, you know, bothered to do something? No? Hmm, ain't that the million dollar question, apparently. Oh, well. I should probably save. So that's why, actually, Athena, I guess that's why Gray wanted to go first. Well, Gray, just so you know, you're gonna lose that crown. I mean, I do feel kind of bad because he had that crown for about five minutes, ten minutes, give or take. I mean, it didn't really take me long to get from here to Blef from get to Viridian City where I got that gym badge from to the Elite Four. So, I mean, give or take a few minutes. In that time, you probably only had to... Oh, ho, ho! Cheeky! Mega Evolution! Eh, it's probably not going to do much against Nora's, uh... Yeah. Heat Wave. Oh. Ho, ho! Well, aren't you just absolute cheeky? Are you actually switch? You're switching. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Hold that thought. Why don't you? Just... I'm just gonna need to do this. <sighs> Boomerang. Oh god, I 
I upload I upgraded my B drill stats maybe a little too much. Oh, fire punch! Cla careful, guys. He's learning. Oh, for fu of course you would you get the burn. Nora, support B drill. Give him a boost in stats. Attack rows, defense rows, special attack, special defense, speed. Oh. Mm. You're having too much fun there. Oh, I hate the burn hacks. Boy, it, it, here's the thing, my luck, I always, I'm gonna get confused. I'm either always gonna get poisoned, or I'm always gonna get burned. It's a parahax! <sighs> I guess I got rid of Marowak, and I can just give my uh, Beedrill full restore, and I won't have to deal with that. Hopefully. Alright, Beedrill, come back. Uh, Arcanine, go! <laughs> oh, oh boy. This could get rather annoying. Uh, Arcanine, use, uh, use dig. Why did, it rap Why did your Rabbit Ash keep quick attack? It doesn't do that much damage. <sighs> Goodbye. What? Oh, well, I'll probably KO it. Not my Arcanine, I'll probably KO itself, I mean. Or maybe not. Okay, so, apparently one, uh, apparently this Pokemon has quite a bit of health. No, it doesn't have any health. You know, in all honesty, I kind of expected the... Uh, I mean, in all honesty, I kind of expected this Pokemon to at least provide some... Well, I kind of expected my Pokemon to at least provide some... Or the Elite Four to at least provide better an experience than, say, a trainer battle, but... I guess that's just me. If I recall, Slowbro has a lot of physical and men and special defense. But still, should take quite a bit of damage from uh X Scissor. In the meantime, I'll hardly take any damage really. You know, thinking on it. Here's one thing I don't understand that I don't that doesn't make sense. So Mega Pidgeot has high amounts of special defense or is a special attacker, yet when you don't Mega Evolve Pidgeot, it's a physical attacker. All right, thanks. Don't worry guys, that was just my dad. So anyway, my point is that seems like a flawed Mega Evolution, if anything. Because essentially it's a Mega Evolution using a stat that normally wouldn't use. Unless it's... unless they plan on using a Pokemon that would really only benefit from Mega Evolution? It, it's baffling. To be honest. Um, the next Pokemon I would say is Executor. I 
Oh no, it's Jolteon. Hmm. Well, how about that? Thunder. E. <laughs> Beatrice just like, yeah. That was a thunder attack. So what? <sighs> Gray, really? You're only delaying the inevitable. Literally, you can't. You can't out heal me. My B drill pretty much takes away all of your Pokemon health, all of your uh, Jolteon's health. There's no way. There's no point in using a potion against me in that regard. Vileplume. So it's not Executor. Mm. Exazar. Wasn't super effective. Oh. That poison typing must help. Did it just use reflect. Sludge bomb! Ha! Ah, can't poison me. I'm already my B drill's a poison type. <laughs> nice try, bud. Ah, son of a gun! Gray, gray, gray! You're delaying the inevitable. I'll brick break you. Fi final brick break you. Screw your reflect. See? Was that so painful? It's like a band-aid, Gray. We'll have to tear you have to tear it off real quick. My PGR grew to level fifty. No, whoa, whoa there, Gray. I wouldn't say I'm the strongest Pokemon trainer in the world. I would say I'm the strong strongest Pokemon trainer in Kanto. Um, how so? Why, well, yes, yes, I do know. <clears throat> well, we did it, guys. We, uh, I gotta say, this, this is, a uh, pretty enjoy- I, uh, I actually pretty much enjoyed recording and uploading this series, doing this, uh, journey with you guys, and just generally enjoying- and just generally enjoying what, having you guys seen, uh, my adventure of this- through this game. Now, keep in mind, a lot of the older, or later battles may have became easy through, may have became easier with me using Beedrill and Pidgeotto, or Pidgeot, but honestly, I didn't feel disappointed or unsatisfied at all. I actually enjoy playing this game, and I'll most likely still play, enjoy playing it. Man, though, I gotta say, I, I, I'm just generally surprised 
how much I really enjoyed this series as a whole, and I enjoy and how I, much I enjoyed recording this series as a, as, in general because, like I played through Kanto. Keep in mind, I played through Kanto so many times, so I didn't really think I would enjoy this as much as I did, and I certainly enjoyed it more recording it, my adventure, my moments, and just generally sharing it with you guys. <clears throat> so if anything, so if anything, I, I think we all can honestly say that we had some fun. We had some laughs. I don't suppose this will let me skip anytime soon, huh? <clears throat> so, honestly, I want to thank you all for just generally watching, or sticking around with the series with me, sticking in the series with me, and just generally enjoying, uh, enjoying this, enjoying this adventure with me, because this is what really my channel is about. Because it's not, this is what it's my channel is about. Just generally enjoying playing this, playing a game, enjoying and just generally having adventure. It's not about, for me, it's never been about money or about about being popular. It's just, it's just the little things enjoy of enjoying the little things and it's just generally enjoying video games and just how how it brings us all together just to have some good laughs, you know. And I want to thank you all for just generally having uh, having fun on this adventure with me. So, I hope you all have a very good uh, day. And I hope you also all have your fun with your own Pokemon adventures. This is Galator from Galator's Gaming, wishing all of you fellow adventurers great success, glory, and fun. Ha ha ha.